Hey guys, we're here back again. This time we are doing another Wild Rift video, this time on the newly announced 2.6 update coming to Wild Rift here in December, and I think into the 2022 January. So pretty excited. I don't really know what was announced because I kept myself in the dark so I can go ahead and do this reaction video. So it is a blind react. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. Here we go. Hey everyone, Alan here again Hello. from the Wild Rift team. As 2021 draws to a close, we've still got tons of new content on the way in the upcoming patch 2.6, which is the last major patch of the year. But first, I do want to say a huge thank you to all of you. No, no problem, man. We appreciate man. <laughs> every one of you for tuning in and playing Wild Rift, and we're incredibly grateful for your time oh, and shucks, man. as we continue to level up the game together. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. My pleasure. Hey, what's happening with champions? Here we go. Hey everyone, I'm Maddie, the new lead for Champions. I'm super excited to be able to bring two new champs to Wild Rift this patch. So we're diving straight into another fierce rivalry between two meta-defining legends. Kale. Kale the Righteous. All right. The pattern to the Baron lane. Kale starts the game as a melee fighter. Which means the counterpart is Morgana. Straight up 1v1s. 100%. She has a few tools at her disposal, including a projectile that slows opponents and divine judgment. An ultimate that can temporarily make her or an ally invulnerable before swords of holy oh, that's fire different. rain down upon the enemy. What I recall she was an invulnerable strength. bubble that you can but like move around in. Indomitable power. It's different now. Over the course of each game, she evolves, becoming a terrifying ranged, true damage AoE hyper carry, cutting down anyone she deems unworthy. A late game Kale is very Damn, old. dude. I'm gonna be maining Kale. Strong defensive abilities to take her down. <laughs> Holy crap, yep, there's Morgana. Get ready for the combo dumps. She's known for like crazy like AP like damage dumps in the combo in her combos. Who has powerful offensive and defensive abilities to control the pace of the teamfights. Her first ability, Dark Binding, roots opponents so her allies can chase them down. She can follow So far she hasn't changed. Yeah, I mean So it looks like she's the same. Can crowd control and magic damage. Despite being Kale's sister, Morgana doesn't really agree with Kale's unique methods of dispensing justice. So we're holding an event to explore their rivalry further. Kale and Morgana's stories will be unveiled in the Path of Justice event in December, where you can pick up either of these champions. Per usual, you get a free, Before free I pick. Get, I know I said we're only releasing two champions this patch, but we're also updating an old favorite. Oh. In patch 2.6, we'll be unleashing our first visual and gameplay update, or VGU, for the madman of Zon himself. Well, one of the madmen anyway. It's Dr. Mundo. With Dr. Mundo's VG. I mean, I thought he was fine. His theme, <laughs> but, but, better, oh, damn. <laughs> I mean, he's even better now. That's before. pretty badass. I gotta admit. Work, it was important for us to meet. Like all dinky. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, his base form in, in game is pretty dinky. Like, it didn't look that great. And finally, it was crucial to keep Mundo a very simple champ to play. So. With the Dr. Mundo update, there are a few differences from his current iteration. For one, his new path Yeah, that's way Dr. better. The proportions fit a lot better there. Being immobilized, shooting off a Chemtech canister from oh, his body. Oh shit. He can pick that's it different. up and get an immediate health injection. <laughs> Good luck, Viger, dude. On his next canister. Another change is his third ability called Blunt Force Trauma. Can be unstoppable. Mundo can use this to push minions or small monsters back in a line, dealing damage where they travel. You can use this to get some early harass on your lane opponent. We've shipped visual updates, or VUs, in Wild Rift, where some of our skins look very different compared to their League PC counterparts. Mundo is our first VGU, where an existing champion. Yeah, it looks just all around just better. Oh yeah. You may wonder. That looks why sick, do dude. VGUs at all? For one, we Bruh. want to make sure older or outdated champions have a solid place in the roster for the future. Or we want to double down and really deliver on a champion's gameplay fantasy if we don't think they're at a quality level that fits the current state of the game. And here we go. Here Ultimately, comes the trend that PC League always has been following for like the longest time now is the, tiers of the visual re reworks the or visual updates, if you will. As we consider more VGUs for the future, we want your thoughts and feedback to make the best versions of League's champs that we can. I really hope you'll enjoy Patch 2.6. Thanks, everyone. I'm trying to think of another champion that can use a visual rework. Concluded, we want to shake up the meta game. 
we've got oh, no. some new items debuting in Wild Rift that we hope are fun to play and Ash, cause maybe? a little bit of organized fine. chaos in the meantime. We have two different spell shield items to protect you from pesky crowd control. Banshee's oh, new items! Edge of Night. Banshee's Veil, vale, yeah. I remember that one, specifically. Work exactly the same way. Like Blitz or Morgana. Resist item made for mages who need a way to survive against other spell casters. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Combat, you'll get a spell shield to absorb the next ability that hits you, including any crowd control. I remember effects. always getting that for like time, when you were really squishy and there's like a Thresh and a Blitz Crank, one of those. It's perfect for or like... To get up close and personal to Does it work on Zed? I don't think so. I think you would still Edge want to get Stasis. protects against one magic damage attack. So you can use this to defend against stuns, knockups, and anything else oh, that cool, might yeah. get in the way of your plays. Hexet Mega Drive reduces your active item cooldown when you heal and shield your oh. allies, and when you immobilize enemies. Interesting. If you have spamming your boots enchantment. This is I don't play support really, support but I mean, like, I guess that's cool. For aspiring gardeners, Ishtali Seajar comes to Wild Rift this patch. Seajar gives you health and ability haste with an additional unique effect. When you or an ally hit a nearby plant. It drops a seed that only you can see. You can pick up and replant that seed at any location on the map. To oh, that's pretty seconds. sick, dude. We're that's going to be great for setting up some really action. interesting plays. In ranked, we're increasing the number of champion bands per team. Nice. Three to five. I, so I appreciate that one. Lobbies will always have one band. We've been waiting for the right time to make this change. Now, we feel that the Wild Rift champion pool is big enough to support... I mean, you release, like, champions, like, every other week or something like that, right? It's expected at this point. We'd like to introduce some really exciting updates to Ranked Rewards, which we hope will make the mode more satisfying for all players. We want to upgrade how we reward your playtime in Ranked, give all players more opportunities to progress, and provide extra choices over what you'll earn. We're excited to unveil the season reward system. Similar to the Wild Pass, okay. you'll gain season points for the rank. There's so many systems. The <laughs> Just system make the, the existing systems better. In games, granting you more points and progress the better you play. Like, I totally get it. Like, I, it's cool. Getting free stuff is cool. And I like the additional systems to a, a degree. But why not just build up the existing systems and make them better? Instead of stacking layer upon layer upon layer. Like when I get into the game and I play one match, I don't want to have a thousand notifications for different things that I can get. I want to be able to like click maybe a few buttons and then get my rewards. I don't want to be like constantly going from page to page to page to make sure all my notification bubbles are all gone. Like just improve the existing systems. Don't keep adding more layers and layers and layers. It's annoying. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like, I feel like just improving the existing systems would be the better route. Give you an extra boost on your seasonal journey. That's pretty cool though. I like that. Series. Especially Every for grinding winter, rank. You'll enter a limited time window to earn bonus progression on the season rewards track if you win your games. This series ends after you win 3 games or after 48 hours, whichever comes first. So that's how you progress, but what do you actually get? For one, the Glory Skin is now exclusively available through this system. For players that hit gold or above, you'll now earn a sweet load See, I want that Trendemir one. To show off to your teammates. Oriana? I, mean, I don't really play Oriana. I mean, that's cool for those who do, but... Got another currency? This is what I'm talking about, dude. Like, we have the Poro coins. We have, like, the, the blue resources. I don't know what the frick they're called. We have the blue resources. We have the paid resources. You know, we have so many different currency types, and now they're adding on another currency type. I don't, I don't get it. Like, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, I do appreciate the extra content. I do appreciate the extra rewards for simply just playing the game. But like, why? Why make a whole new system? Why not just improve the existing system? I don't get it. Like, thank you, devs. But like, maybe just improve the existing stuff. To pick up even more rewards for the games that you're already playing, the rank store. That's so annoying. Accessories and glorious skin from past seasons. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's pretty cool. I like being able to get the trend mirror since I missed out on it. And in season five next year, Glorious Jinx will make her second appearance. If Wild Rift wasn't live in your region back then, 
or if you just didn't climb high enough, this is your chance to get them. Dancing to the mechanical melody. To it's pretty cool. Work, I like it, Glorious but Oriana is your exclusive free is free though. Hey, whatever. I'll take it. If you're the sort of player who's devoted to the climb, don't worry. Everything you've seen here is in addition to the current rank system, and we hope this makes the queue feel more rewarding and fun for everyone. There's so much more to talk about that we couldn't get into this video, so keep an eye out for a dev blog soon that covers everything coming to ranked in patch 2.6. Another wild pass is on the way. Reach level 50 on this pass to earn Explorer Shivana. Oh, that's pretty cool. Into the jungle. I didn't really like the Trist uh, Tristana skin. It wasn't, or didn't really do it for me. But this one's pretty badass. I like it. I like, I like Shivana. As always, we have a few quality of life changes to keep improving your experience every patch. Throughout this patch, we're updating how we handle intentional losing. Yes, come on. Like AFKing and intentional feeding are very disruptive. So we're tweaking things behind the scenes to take action on more players that ruin games. We're making some updates to the new player experience, which you encounter when you install Wild Rift for the first time. Wait, 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 wait. What are they doing? <laughs> like, they didn't even give us anything. Like, oh, we're doing things behind the scenes, but really, like, there's nothing that's changed. We're just going to say something changed. Like, I mean, tell us. Like, what are you, what are you doing different that's going to handle the situations where these, these players are trolling or in intentionally griefing, you know, like trying to make sure that their team loses because they tilted so hard. Like, what are you doing? Like, tell us, give us, communicate. <laughs> like, I feel like that was just like to appease those who've been complaining, but not really give a solution. Like, what the heck, dude? I don't want to be like a negative Nancy, but like, what the heck? What was the point of announcing it? The new mission track will be themed around our favorite loose cannon, Jinx. If you have friends who watched Arcane and are excited to jump into Wild Rift for the first time, we hope they'll enjoy meeting her in game. The world of Crystal Rose comes to Wild Rift this patch, where Lux and her friends enjoy some merrymaking. Reminds me of Disney. In a kingdom of fickle truces and centuries-old grudges, the annual I mean, Crystal Rose Festival... It's cool, I guess. I'm not really into looking pretty. Take up magical roses but for those who are, these are pretty cool. We're giving the existing League PC skin these are pretty cute. Bright spin, <laughs> featuring Sona, <laughs> yeah. Jana, and legendary skins for Lux and Ezreal. I mean, it's cool, I guess. Not really a fan of the Crystal Rose series. We've hacked into the mainframe and uncovered a project event. There we go. The project series are where it's at. Let's go. Who's this? Akali. Nice. Ooh, that looks really good. Fiora. I want to learn Fiora. I don't really have practice with her yet. But she looks pretty sweet. Jin. I've seen Project Jin before. Nice. Ooh, the legendary uh, vein one. Wait, did she come with the motorcycle? Because that would be pretty sweet. And it wouldn't be right to leave you without a classic Wild Rift skin montage. Let's do this. Blade Mistress Morgana. Viridian Kale. Eh, that one's all right. I mean, of course, they had to update Mundo skins. Was Corporate already in there? I don't know. Mecha Rangar. Oh, nice. That looks pretty sweet. I might have to, like, start playing Rangar again. I'm not, I'm not really big on Kha'Zix, whatever. And I'm definitely not big on Lulu either. <laughs> I might be doing an AD Lulu soon, though, for, like, a troll video. I mean, this is a pretty old news here if you play, like, PC League. We're thrilled to celebrate the launch of the latest Riot Forge game, Hextech Mayhem, A League of Legends Story. 
This one, it's kind of, it's interesting. That's all I can really say. I'm more interested in the Ruin King than I am the Hextech Mayhem. It is cool that they're starting to broaden their their genre pool here for games. That's everything for this time. We'll see That's you again it? in January with a look forward to 2022, along with our friends on League of Legends PC. In the meantime, good luck on your climb. Enjoy the new skins and... Oh? Did you hear that? Oh? Oh? <laughs> Earth! Availability may vary among regions due to different testing processes and results. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm excited for this mode. This is something that, you know, I used to, like, want to play in PC League, but I never got to. So, like, it's nice to be able to actually play here. Ultra Rapid Fire, one of League's most beloved game modes, makes its debut appearance. In Earth mode... ARAM's all right. Earth is where it's at. Like, I remember it being pretty sweet. But I thought there was like a, a map for it, not like this default map. Ultra rapid bingo I don't know. Event with missions and rewards Another and layer rewards. of rewards. <laughs> Be God. For -sized chaos. Thanks for watching. Happy the holidays. events I understand though. Because it's its own thing. So that one's not a big deal. Sweet! I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff here. I mean, there is definitely a lot of things I liked. Oh. Yeah, little little point, little wave. Yeah, it's super. It's oh, that's it. It's like yeah, that's it. Okay, so I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff. You got you know Morgana, Kale as a new champion. I'm looking forward to that, uh, especially Kale. Morgana will be annoying to play against, but if you're the new Mundo, which you can basically negate any kind of CC with your ability, that would be pretty pretty cool too. Um, the new skins, not so much the Crystal Rose. I don't really care for the Project skins. I do like those are pretty sweet. I might have to pick up a few. Um, the changes to the trolling, those are amazing. All those changes that they announced. <laughs> Every single one of those changes are going to be totally welcomed, uh, whatever they may be. Uh, and then, of course, the layer upon layer of systems and new systems and new currency. Um, free is free. I like it, you know, overall. I think if I would take either that or nothing, I would take this. So, I mean, I can't really complain too much. Um, but... There, there we are. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction video of the update 2.6 coming very, very soon to Wild Rift. I am excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later!